This is the story of the life work and accomplishments of Ted Bukovalis as seen through the eyes of his son. His father and his father's brother both were immigrants from Greece who came here during the Great Depression in Europe around the turn of the century and originally landed in Ellis Island. They were both from the Greek Orthodox faith and raised their children that way and baptized them all Greek Orthodox. My grandfather was a merchant and at a small grocery store near Lowell, Massachusetts where they settled. After World War II, he invested all his money from the war with his brother in a house which became the center of the Bukabalas clan in Lowell, Massachusetts. The war set the pattern and changed his lives in many ways from the conflict and the struggles that he went through during World War II. Ted was part of the 13th Infantry. They were assigned to follow the tanks behind Patton as he moved across Europe. My father's sergeant didn't really like him very much and thought he was very small and he was Greek and he didn't like Greek people. So he was assigned to running the communications cable as the infantry advanced. Actually that's what saved his life. He is away from the main part of the infantry and they lost 90% of all the people that were in the 13th Division by the time that they reached Germany. What he really wanted to do was to be a pilot. He would look up at the sky and watch the aircraft while he was running the communications cable. He also communicated with a lot of people along the way. You see, my father, he had an intense interest into knowing the different people. So because he was bilingual, he was able to learn French, Italian, and he had a strong desire to meet the actual people of Europe. And in Germany, he ended up actually living with a family of German people. My father went to school near Chicago, where he became an aeronautical engineer and met my mother, Lorraine Bukovalis, who is from the country and whose parents were farmers in the Illinois area. My dad's desire to know about people of the world led us to be surrounded by all kinds of culture. And Tina was very much affected by this and later on she went to become Dr. Tina Bukovalis. She got her degree in mythology and folklore and studied and wrote books about all different types of culture and different history of world people. As for myself, I guess I just came along for the ride. Then there was Pam Bukovalis also. Pam married a man who was a painter and a carpenter, and she had two boys with him, and they helped them uh, develop their property in Oregon. We lived in Missouri, and my dad worked for McDonnell Douglas and worked on the F-4H, which was one of the greatest fighters and is still working today. After that, we moved to Washington State. He went to work for Boeing and worked on the 727, one of the first transport airplanes that had only three engines. He worked on the 727 about two years, and that's when he moved back to California to work in the space program. And there he worked on all the different spacecrafts, from Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, the Space Shuttle, and the International Space Station. And then he became a job shopper when they lived in Oregon and worked on the C-17, which was a plane that transported troops and equipment. A lot happened when we were in California. My mother died when I was about 14. That was in about 1968. For the next three years, my dad would study all different types of religions and philosophies. Some of the best talks we ever had was when he was standing on his head practicing his yoga. I was part of the drop out, turn on, and tune in generation. Don't trust anybody over 30 years old. And after an LSD experience, I accepted Jesus Christ. Well, after that, my dad thought I might need a little help. So he took me into therapy. And that's where we met Pierce Omni. And Lucy and her children were going there too. 
and uh, they got together and they married. Ted and Lucy became faithful followers of Christ and he attended many different churches and uh, had a strong Christian faith and restored his uh, Christian beliefs. Well, I guess that's what he's really most well known for as being a father and a father to all of Lucy's children too, besides his own. And I'm going to take you on a photo tour of some of the people that my father knew and uh, was touched by his love and his kindness, and uh, there's just too many people to mention at this point because our extended family had a tremendous amount of uh, children and grandchildren, and it just keeps on going. So here we go with the music of Robert Buxton, and I'm gonna take you on a little photo tour. Thanks a lot for watching the video.